All right, guys, I'm back. It's been a while, but I'm going to start making some more videos now. And I'm going to uh, going to kick off straight away with a video answering someone's question that they sent into my email. And this is from my buddy, Dania. And she says, I read your email about playing an instrument in a lucid dream. And I was wondering, does the same thing apply to singing? Can I, can I sing in a lucid dream and be able to sing at a level higher than in waking life simply because it's a lucid dream? Uh, and this is going to be a fairly short video, but don't worry, there's going to be a lot more to come. I've got a lot of stuff planned. Um, I've got a lot of review videos, lots of stuff coming for you guys. But anyway, so um, normally in a lucid dream, you are able to um, pick up an instrument and you're able to play it at a level higher than in waking life um, because your brain in waking life, whenever you hear like a, a song or a piece of music, um, someone playing an instrument, for example, your brain takes in that information uh, and sort of gets a, a rough idea of how melodies sound, even if you can't play them or even if you can't play a certain instrument, for example. So you could you could pick up a guitar in a dream and you'd be able to play it um, at a fairly high level in the dream. You'd be able to create nice music and, and decent sounding melodies simply because your brain has been absorbing melodies from every time you've heard someone play guitar in waking life or every, every time you've heard a song on the radio. Um, so, and the same thing applies to singing, okay? Most people, 99% of people, have a rough idea of when someone can or cannot sing, okay? You'll be able to listen to someone and say, right, yeah, this is a, not a good singer, they can sing, or this is a bad singer. And so that information, much the same as with instruments, that information and that sort of sense of whether someone can sing or not will seep into your subconscious mind and therefore in a lucid dream, you'll be able to access that. And even if you can't sing in waking life, which, you know, I'm, I'm one of those people, I cannot sing to save my life. Um, even if you can't sing in waking life, you can go into a lucid dream and sing and you will hear and experience that as if you were like a professional singer. So I hope that answers your question, Daniel. Uh, if anyone else has a question, please go ahead and comment in the, in the description, uh, in another description, I don't know what I'm talking about, in the um, comment section of this video, or you can send an email into contact at howtolucid.com. You can also go to my website, howtolucid.com, and subscribe to my email list, and then that way I can sort of prioritise people. Um, if I get loads of random questions coming in, I'll sort of, uh, I'll tend to prioritise the ones from people that are subscribed to my mailing list. Uh, and as a sort of bonus, you'll get... Um, You'll get a, a Lucid resource guide PDF file which sort of explains how to use various things like supplements and binaural beats, how to optimize your sleep. Um, so that's a nice little PDF file I've put together for you guys. Um, so yeah, as I say, you can get that at howtolucid.com and there'll be a, an opt-in form on the right-hand side and probably a pop-up as well, I'm, I can't remember. Um, so yeah, if you've already got that, then don't worry, just send in your question and I'll try and answer them as soon as I can. So I'll see you in the next video.